Hi. Well, I have a slightly different opinion. I think the brave people are the people sitting there looking at Trump cowering under the podium. Um, Trump was hit. It was said he was hit not by a bullet, but by shards of glass that flew up after the bullet went through his teleprompter. So it was not the bullet, it was shards of glass that hit Trump's ear. So, but look at those people. They're just sitting there calmly and looking at Trump, wondering, well, what's he doing down there under that um, podium? And then the men are trying to get him up. So what's he doing? I mean, if he just got an ear <clears throat> graze, you know, he certainly doesn't want to get up. And so they're already trying to use uh, this strong man theme for Trump for the upcoming Republican convention, which starts in a couple of days. Elon Musk has jumped on board, said he's uh, supporting Trump because he is so quote unquote tough. So he is certainly uh, supporting the Trump rhetoric that Trump is a strong man. And well, you know, Trump wouldn't have all of this violence around him if he wasn't giving out guns to his supporters. He just hands out guns. He doesn't ask for any type of um, identification or uh, background check into their mental status or anything. He hands out guns and gun makers are handing out guns to Trump as gifts. So this is what you get. If you are focused on violence and guns, you are going to draw this sort of activity and this is what you can expect from four years of Trump. Now this is the second person who was around 20 years old that was incited to violence by Donald Trump. Michael uh, Sandford from England came to the United States. He was groomed and he was um, incited to violence during a Trump speech where he got up and tried to grab a gun from a guard. This was a very um, unplanned thing, but he did end up getting into Las Vegas jail, solitary confinement, and I think he was finally given a year in jail because he was such a um, moldable, malleable young man, they decided that he was adversely influenced by the rhetoric of Donald Trump. He was not a murderer, but he has that now on his record. He served time. He has mental problems from it. And this is what happens. Now this other person now currently is 20 years old. Same thing. He was incited by the rhetoric of Trump to go to violence. Trump incites anger, violence, chaos. Uh, thoughts of murder. Trump admires murderers. He admire, admires frequently out loud the mob, various characters in the mob, and how they just used to shoot people on the street. He liked that. This is what you get. You like people getting shot in the street? Well, now your admirers like it too. So we need to dump Trump, make sure, get him out. No one wants their children to be incited into violence, into trying to murder people, going to jail, solitary confinement, ruins their lives. What are we thinking, people? This is not the type of person we want in politics, in control of our money. There is a reason Trump wanted the Supreme Court to give him the power to kill people. He has that sort of mentality. He has that sort of goal. That is what he thinks about all the time. He even wants to kill Liz Cheney, the um, 
congressperson who spoke against him on the January 6th committee when he again staged another performance. I believe this one on um, July 13th, 2024 was a performance act just as he did one on um, January 6th when he had the people who follow him incited to violence, to raid the Capitol building, to hurt people inside. They wanted to kill Nancy Pelosi. They wanted to kill Mike Pence, his vice president. This is a crazy man. What are you thinking? Why would you want this person to be a leader of a country? Your children are at stake. Your mental status is at stake. You know, every time one of these people gets confused, gets accused of violence or chaos or problems, Trump walks off happy and you end up with tons of legal bills, jail time. Look at all of the people surrounding Trump. They're all in jail or um, just came out of jail with records and this is not what you want. You don't want somebody who's leading you and your family and friends into jail and prison and the life of crime and all of the problems that are consumed. He wants to kill Liz Cheney. He wants, oh, female. He has a thing against females. He also wants to kill his general. He wants to kill people on the January 6th committee who investigated, investigated the January 6th uh, performance of violence and hate and um, goal of murder on the Capitol. Uh, you know, there are more and more examples of this. He likes to kill people, yet everybody gets ex excited when somebody comes up and now they are saying and doing the same thing that he is talking about. He loves the um, publicity because here he is putting the uh, security detail at risk. Here's the security man's head is poking up. He doesn't have any protection, neither, do, neither, do, neither does that guy. And Trump is cowering in under the podium. And look at all these other people, no protection. If there was a real threat, these people could have all been shot with a rapid fire gun. I don't believe Trump even got uh, hit by a bullet. I think they said it was just a piece of glass from his teleprompter. So all of this ado makes Trump get the type of uh, security detail he wants. He wants presidential security detail. He doesn't want the kind of security detail he has now, which is really pared down from that which Joe Biden as president gets. He wants the free publicity. He loves publicity. And this is free. He'll be talked about forever. You know, at well past November uh, election, he will probably get some kind of leniency like we saw with um, others who have been in court uh, from the judge. He expects to maybe to get out of his future prison term. He has other court cases pending. Are people going to want to say nasty things about Trump? He has also put the Biden campaign in a, a stronghold because now how are they going to tell the truth about Trump when the man's running around trying to play like he was hit by a bullet when it was really just a piece of glass from the teleprompter. And you know, all of this stuff. People are very, very gullible. Trump knows how to bend people, and they think they want a warring country. We have been promised violence by Bannon, uh, who says that if Trump doesn't win, there's going to be violence. Well, here you are, people. You like this? You like this country? You like to have uh, people pointing guns at you in the audience? while you're listening to your president speak. You like having people who are young trying to get involved in campaigns, to have them incited to violence so that they may start shooting. 
at audience members while you're sitting there trying to listen to what this dumb head is talking about come on this is not the country we want you know let trump go back to his theater his theatrics and i think it was george clooney who said trump needed to get out of the race and go back to acting and i think that is exactly what we're seeing here um trump is not fit to be president here the security detail is at risk while trump is taking political photographs he's advertising himself trump is trying to show uh, that he is strong because he survived you know a piece of glass getting in his ear let me put that to the social saying he was hit by a bullet that pierced the upper part of my right ear this also reports that the former president was hit by shards of glass possibly from the teleprompter the butler county district attorney confirmed that the suspected shooter and one rally attendee were dead one person at the rally was in a serious condition and he confirmed that the suspected shooter and one rally attendee were dead one person at the rally was in a serious now to most of us that would be a big deal somebody died from our activity but we have not heard remorse from trump about the people who were injured or killed in january 6th this means nothing to trump this is all part of his performance art he loves it Look at that guy standing up there pointing a gun at the audience. You know, this is absolutely crazy. You need to dump Trump immediately. This is not the kind of person we want as president. We don't want America to become more of a place of violence. You put violence in, you put violence as your focus. You put violence as your goal. You put violence as your future promise. Trump has always been promising us more and more violence. This is what you're going to get. That should be the picture Trump takes from this Butler, Pennsylvania speech you will be under the weapon you will be the person having the gun pointed at you and your children and if they get killed or you get killed so what trump will walk away uh, in glory with more pictures well what do you think like and subscribe bye